And welcome back everyone to Nightsome Development. And first of all, I would like to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. And then second of all, I was just chilling, wondering what tutorial should I record this week. And then I was like, hmm, 2024 is about to end. And what was like the main focus of most like game companies, games? What was like the main of 2024? Like what was the this huge like changer? What was everybody trying to do? And what does Roblox do not have? And I remembered literally this. For some reason, stuff like Warzone, Fortnite, they all added a bunch of movements like abilities to 360 slide, climb walls, jump. But Roblox from a base plate doesn't even allow your character to sprint. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and add an ability to dynamically slide and customize it to however you like it and it looks something like this basically you can do this in both first and third person and what's happening is our character plays a quick slide animation and slides for however long that you want him to slide so i'm gonna go ahead and show this to you one more time but from this angle basically as you can see our character just dashes forward and slides you can sprint and then slide very cool very easy it's like super useful looks amazing if you do it right you can jump and slide and then it's amazing for both like fps and like speed run maps if you're doing something like literally csgo surf if you know what that is it allows you to quickly move and it looks amazing literally and you can customize it however you want i provide you with all of the code super cool super easy so let's go ahead and get into the video this tutorial will be in two main parts, which is going to be first making the animation for how your character will lay down during the slide. And then in the second part, we're actually going to add the code for it. And I provide it for you so you don't actually have to code anything by yourself. Super easy, right? So go to avatar tab, go to rig builder, select R15 block avatar. Since that's what's most modern, most people use is the most compatible. You could use an R6 if that's your thing, but I'm going to use this, then click animation editor, select the rig, and I would rename it into something like slide animation, and then click the little plus right here, and then add all body, which will just add every single body part of your rig to the animation editor. Now you're going to scroll to the very top of this, select, scroll all the way down, hold shift on your keyboard, click the bottom, and just select every single component of your rig. Then I would recommend going to rotate, lock the rotator at 90 degrees per, per turn, and then just do it once, which will perfectly lay out your rig, right? Go ahead and move it down to where it's on the ground right about there now you're going to quickly go find a better angle from the top something like this then go ahead deselect everything hold control on your keyboard and select just the upper body parts but not the hips not the legs just what you see here once again click rotate and then don't forget to turn off the rotator locks and then turn them right about something like 27 maybe degrees because you want him to look like he's sitting up but not too much and then move right about there maybe up just a little more doesn't have to be perfect but that should be fine select the head and then rotate it to where it's like looking forward but still at an angle and then move it to where it looks good so right about there okay now we're going to do his leg so go to the left select the upper thigh click rotate and then Pick his leg up to like 30, go to the bottom, rotate, 
and rotate it to where the foot is in the ground just about there that already looks pretty good but i also like to put up put down this elbow so select the upper rotate it to where it's down but still at an angle and then do a similar thing with the lower to where as you can see it's almost straight but still at a tiny angle okay now we have our character sliding on the ground now go ahead click the three little dots right here go ahead click set animation priority to action and then you can go ahead click the little three dots again and then publish this to roblox and you should see stuff appear here i usually don't change anything so click save and then don't forget to actually copy this ID right here because if you don't it'll be so hard to find it later you can close this and actually I would recommend opening up a notepad on your computer and actually writing it down since if you lose it now it'll be kind of hard to find it later and you're done with the animations you can go ahead and close the software and now we're gonna add the code go ahead and open the starter player and then starter character scripts right here you don't have to have any of this, but you could watch this video where we made this cool death animation in this top right corner. So, in starter character scripts, click the little plus sign, add a local script, and then rename this local script into slide script. You're going to go ahead and clean this up. And then lucky for you, in the description of this video, you can click a link to this slide script, which you will just go ahead and carefully copy. Make sure you don't miss a line, because if you do and then comment down, oh, it doesn't work, I will actually lose it this time. So go ahead, paste that in. And as you can see, we have a simple script which looks for a humanoid, has a user input, and in this case... I have it set to um, left control. You could change this to something like, I don't know, a capital C if you want it. But I think left control is just perfect for whatever we're doing now. And as you can see right here on line 16, you have your animation ID link, which I told you guys to save. And if you have, you should have it right here so now let's go ahead and um paste it now that you've pasted it in we can actually go ahead and test out the game so click play and then for this video i was actually using this amazing knife game that i've made in series you can check that out in this top right corner if you want to make the same cool game but let's stop chatter let's just test out the sliding so basically, when you click the left control, your character will go ahead and play the animation and slide for one second. You could change this, change this in settings, and I will show this a little later. So basically, you can run and then slide for one second or however long you want, because obviously you don't want your character to have an infinite slide. And then he will actually slide up slopes and stuff if you want to. So you can make stuff kind of like that CSGO surfing game that some of you might know about or literally mobility is king right now so if you want to add this type of stuff to your game this is how you do it just click the left control and your character will go ahead and slide you perfectly completed the tutorial congratulations and let's actually quickly show you how to change the sliding amount right here you have your speed i mean no this is force with which the script pushes you and this is the max speed that you can actually go and then right here is how long i actually lied it was half a second slides so which whatever you put here is for however long your character will play that sliding animation and slide so let's say if i change this to five seconds your character will be able to slide for five seconds and this part is actually like the breaks between slides so you couldn't just spam slide in one game and then slide around the map so so now if i click control i will slide for around like five seconds until it will actually throw me up perfect